Dr. Jekyll wrote a testament of what has transpired. But Dr. Jekyll was a proud man with a shining reputation who early on hid his natural high spirits and developed a double character. His scientific studies focused on the mystical and transcendental as he searched out aspects of man, especially in the moral dimension. He wanted to learn how these two sides could be disconnected. While at the same time, Dr. Jekyll researched medications, medicines to create a potion that would transform him into evil. Dr. Jekyll tried it. He drank the potion and became evil. He was consumed by the evil. Now, Dr. Jekyll lived two lives. One as a very well-respected citizen, the other as evil. Now, Dr. Jekyll continued to transform between these two characters until one day evil took over. Now, feeling as though his life were in danger, Dr. Jekyll tried to resist, but the evil killed Sir Carew. Dr. Jekyll continues his life. Now, Dr. Jekyll worries that the evil will take over. And without the medicine, without the potion, what will he do? He needs a stronger potion to maintain his character as Dr. Jekyll. The medicines have run out. And without that, he would not be able to change back to Dr. Jekyll. This is when Dr. Jekyll writes this testament, knowing that time is running out. And worried that the evil will take over. Will Mr. Hyde die or kill himself? This would be the end of the life of Dr. Henry Jekyll.